Out of here, YouTube land. <laughs> yeah, that's a little South Texas. Hey, folks, I uh, wanted to show you a little demonstration today um, because this kind of question has come across my plate a couple of times uh, talking about garage sale items that you find and everything and why certain things are overlooked. Because I go to garage sales for many reasons. Primary reason people is to look for work clothes out here because I'm constantly getting dirty and you live on a farm. Forget about getting clean until you hit the shower, <laughs> right? So, one of the questions came up with. Uh, was something that happened I was talking to a buddy of mine online we were in the military and we were like do you remember that time that we were cruising in a Jeep you know the old Willie Jeep folks back in my day and an arrow passed right through our cabin and I mean I had like totally forgot about that and so I was like okay let, let's that reminded me you know everything we went through uh, well you guys sure it was an arrow yes you sure it wasn't one of the indigenouses out hunting and it just happened to pass by you you know, well, who's to say? It was an arrow, it was a spear, it was something. Uh, they tried to blow it off. It might have possibly been a bird or something like that. But it came down to the question where the driver, the A driver, was saying, you know, if we had solid windows on these Jeeps, that wouldn't happen. We're about to put that to the test, okay? So, folks, I got a couple of different arrows from some of my garage sale finds. And, you know, I've got a couple of aluminum ones here. I got a one of the carbon ones and I got a wooden one. And I got one of my garage sale bows here, okay? Uh, did a little research, people, and talked to a couple of my buddies that are bow hunters in this area. Not including you, okay? <laughs> um, and they said basically 45, 50 pound draw is probably, will you stop that? <laughs> draw is a prob probably about all that you're going to need. That's Elvis, guys. There's a rooster named Elvis, okay? <laughs> window and a, and a door down there. I want to thank one of my friends uh, uh, who donated this over to me, Drew. Um, stop it! <laughs> I want to thank one of my friends uh, in Land Passes that uh, donated the door to me. And uh, let's just get on with this, folks. I got a, also a bulletproof vest rated for uh, like pistol caliber ammunition. And we're just going to get right there to this if these guys are just quit interrupting me, all right? <laughs> so let's get on this. All right, folks. So Strip down bare bones bow. Okay, notice there's no sights. It's just gonna be me, me the wind, uh, hopefully the spirit of Geronimo, uh, my Apache cousins back in the background probably sitting there cheering me on and stuff. But let's see if this really works. Okay, first of all, folks, I'm gonna try to hit that pumpkin because the question came down to, I hope you can see me, the question came down to is, could they have got us through just a plain door? Because the Jeeps back then, folks, only had the doors on during the weather. A lot of times we kept the roof on just in case it rained, considering where we was at. It's extremely rainy in that territory. But let's just find out if I can just hit the pumpkin for you, okay? All right, folks. Thank, thanks for your encouragement there, Elvis. <laughs> All right, folks. Again, I've got the wind working against me. Let's see. No sides, nothing, guys. Bare bones. Let's see if I can hit that pumpkin. one of us in the noggin. I hate to sound morbid, but that's what would have happened, okay? Okay, and if you're wondering about the distance, folks, we're at 35 feet. So here's how I guesstimated that distance for those of you who really want to know, okay? Let me show you this before I do this next test, okay? I know you guys are waiting to suspense. So watch this. Any one of us folks who are hunters, if you go back into that about three feet, that brush, you see the brush? I guarantee those of us that hunt can disappear. 
in that stuff okay just FYI all right drum roll please <laughs> let's try to let's try to hit that pumpkin behind the glass let's see if this works folks you're gonna see me jump that thing ricochet or something <laughs> All righty, scooters. Bulletproof vest, rated for pistol caliber ammunition. No! Did y'all see that? Did not penetrate the bulletproof vest. Yeah, it did not penetrate the bulletproof vest. Hold on. I'm sorry you're having a look at my hand. Let's try something. Let's try something else. You're all gonna think I'm gross, aren't you? No penetration on the door. Mind you folks, we're dealing with about 50 pound draw here on this one. Still no penetration. So, alright folks, so arrow could have definitely gone through. The window was down. We know that. Could have took out some of his melon. Okay, people, I am not. Let me get something straight to y'all, okay? This is why I encourage you people. When you go to a garage sale and you see one of these, don't pass it by. 45 pounds, 50 pounds is all you really need draw, okay? And look, I don't have sights. This is bare bones. Do not pass that bow by. If you are a real pepper, pepper, <laughs> do not pass that bow by, okay? Woo, I was glad I got all that out. Um, you can see definitely could have got the melon. Uh, could not penetrate the car door. Did go through the windshield, though. Did go through the windshield there. Uh, could not penetrate, penetrate the bulletproof vest. Rated at pistol caliber ammunition. Could not penetrate the door, okay? Now hold on, that one's a little older. Let's try something else, hold on. Well, I see a little bit of super glue in somebody's future. Probably gonna definitely mess with his points. No, not really. Check this out, folks. Check that out. Still got her point. Really not a lot of deformation there, right? Deformation, deformation. Okay. Hey, this is why, folks, I'm telling you, I also survived the frosting of Central Texas in 2017. Okay. It got down to about 18 degrees out here. And if you must know, it's right now about 42 degrees outside. For those of you curious who want to know temperature, angle, deflection, and stuff. Alright, so that's an older Something flew off there. <laughs> okay, try that one. One more for the gipper, as they say. Alright, there you have it, folks. There's your test. So, if you're wondering if a garage sale bow will do the trick, yeah, I think it will. So please, people, if you see a bow rated at about 45, 50 pounds, inspect it, make sure she's all exactly what you need it to do. I'm one of those kind of person. I'm a purist. Recurve will do me just fine. I make these work the way I want to, though, as you saw in the test. So there you have it, folks. Don't pass that. Don't pass that.